walk in. My boss is to the left. The owner is seated behind the desk. I was demoted. But they cut my branch. They didn't cut my tree. And bro, that took me a long time to get that. It took me over a year though to stop acting like a stump and rise up and play like a trunk. Welcome back or welcome to the Sales Life Podcast. And before we, um, before we move forward, um, let's quickly recap yesterday's episode. And it was about choosing discipline over availabilities. Because just because something's available to you doesn't mean it's always good for you. I mean, it's available for me to have endless alcohol. It's available for me to eat fried seafood every single night. It's available for me to sit there and binge watch TV. But just because something's available doesn't mean it's good for me. So this is why you have to choose discipline over availabilities. Because discipline is nothing more. And oftentimes, you know, when I think of discipline, I always think of, well, it's the super regimented. It's not that at all. It's not being super hardcore, super strict. Discipline, when I choose discipline over availabilities, discipline is nothing more than something that improves you. And so, just because I have all of these availabilities, if that availability does not improve me, I don't choose it. Which brings me to today's podcast. Because in your quest for improvement, part of the improvement is a pruning. And I'm driving to work and I see this uh, I see this road crew on the side of the road and they're all looking up at this huge oak tree and they're looking at this limb and this limb is like, dude, like six, seven, eight inches in diameter. And they're all looking up at this limb and I realize they're, they're cutting the limb so that it won't fall on that power line. Because if that limb falls, It's going to knock out power for the whole area. So they cut the branch. But notice they cut the branch. They didn't cut the tree. And so they prune the tree by cutting the branch. So that way it wouldn't be a loss of power. And you know, I wish that I was mature enough to initiate some of the prunings in my life. But sometimes life's gonna do it for me. And sometimes a crew of life called circumstances comes along and cuts me. but they didn't cut my tree. They cut my branch. It feels like they cut my tree. And when it happens, dude, I feel like a stump. But I've got to remember, I still have a trunk. And you have to look at circumstances. I'll be at, Demotion, bankruptcy, setbacks, breakups, blindsides, blowups, disruptions. You have to look at circumstances 
as a cutting of the branch, not a cutting of the tree. You're not a stump. You're a trunk. And life just did you a favor. You just don't see it yet. See, life did you a favor because, see, you had no idea that that branch that was growing out, it was thriving. It was big. It was green. It was growing. You had no idea how close you were to that branch breaking and knocking out your power. So life just did you a favor. May 1st, 2016. I remember like it was yesterday. And I kept wondering why my boss kept walking by while I was on the phone. I was on my cell phone. He kept walking by, kept walking by. And the minute I clicked in on the cell phone, he walked up to me and said, the owner needs to see you upstairs. All right, no big deal, new month. Let's, let's get some strategy going, right? And bro, it was the best thing that ever happened for me. Because the pruning initiated other prunings that needed to be done in my life. And it was the best thing because when I got demoted, I felt like everything was gone. I was going through a divorce. My family was gone. That was the only other buoy I had in life was my job. I was a playmaker. No, you weren't. So when they cut that and they demoted me, I had nothing else to lose in my mind. Almost to the point where I took myself out. But once I started rising up and moved from acting like a stomp to playing like a trunk, the initial pruning of demotion gave way for me to prune other areas of my life. And it's a constant pruning. But sometimes, man, what feels like a loss to you when you get pruned is actually freeing you up for future gains. And you gotta remember, dude, when things happen, most things don't happen to you. They happen for you. And you gotta remind yourself, they just cut my branch, but they didn't cut my tree. So let's, let's go. Few action items for the day. What was actually a cutting of the branch, but was actually but I saw it as cutting up a tree. What event happened in my life that was actually, it was cutting up a branch, I didn't see it. But I, I took it like they cut my tree. And then number two, when have I acted like a stump and forgot that I still had a trunk? Number three, probably the most important for you today. 
What else needs to be pruned? To free me up for the future. And so the pruning is scary at first. The pruning is um, uncertain. I don't know how this plays out after I cut this. I mean, you, you can't solder a limb back together. That's it. And that's why most people, that's why we don't prune things from our life. We don't prune things from our life because it's so definite. But what gets cut off grows back in a different way. Better than it ever was before. I'm a living testimony of that. And no matter what happens in my life, I ain't never gonna be a stump. I'll always be a trunk. Never settle, keep selling your way through life, no matter what. Stay in the sales life.